Okay, so here we are in my dad's fortress of car stuff, I guess. All right, so I've made my paint booth in my carport, and I've used a lot of plastic tarping uh, just to seal it in, tight to the ceiling, tight to the floor. So I'm gonna make myself a filtration system. I've got two box fans on the other one side that I've got filters on. I've got a bunch of coarse hog tear filters on the outgoing side so that hopefully I can catch some of the paint particles as they leave. I'll end up sealing myself in pretty tight um, so that I'll force the air through those when it's time. So now I'm on, in the process of painting all the objects from the car that I've pulled off because they're hard to get access to, including the uh, camper top. So when you're getting ready to paint your cap camper top, there's a big giant gasket that goes all the way around the window. I removed the trim piece earlier on and that loosens it up so you can work with it. But then it's just um, a, a pretty big project to try to keep that line tight. So I saw a YouTube video where a guy used clothesline like I'm using right here, and he was able to get it under the gasket and it gives you a nice big gap to work with. So I'm using a straight edge and I'm holding it with my two thumbs on it. And then I can put my hands in that position, lean the back of the blade up just a little bit, and it'll let me just work my way down the gasket and start and push it in as I go. Sometimes I can get it a lot better than others. But that's good for demonstration purposes. And if you look in a little bit closer here, camera girl, you can see it leaves a pretty significant gap between the two. And that makes it so much easier to tape and put, put paper on. So I get to finish this up and then I'll get to paint here soon with the primer sealer, epoxy primer sealer. Alright, the next day, I've taken some of the tape off after I put two coats of primer on. I've uh, retracted my temporary paint booth, of course, to make my carport more usable again. Um, looks pretty good. There are a few blemishes that I've noticed. Mainly, you can see all the different patches on the hood, but then when I was pulling the tape off there's just a few spots where some of the primer came off with it and I did go and get some new body sealer or seam sealer but since it was black before I didn't notice that I probably should have put some up in this edge but it's gonna be black again so that's no big deal overall looks good I'm happy doesn't look real orange peely. I doubt you can make it make it out on the video. Looks good enough. Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a few weekends since I've actually done anything with the Bronco. Um, my family had to go out of town uh, for about a month, so I put everything off until they after they left. Back on it now. I got a three day weekend to mess around with this thing. So, last time I had sprayed, I primed it, and it says it's a non sanding primer. But when I came out here and was touching on it, it felt a little rough, I'll admit it. And then there was a couple spots where something had gotten in the paint, and so I just took a little bit of 400, started sanding that spot, see if I could flatten it out, and worked pretty good. Then I tried a little bigger spot, worked pretty good. So even though I've heard on the internet you're not supposed to sand it and this stuff is non-sanding. What the heck? It's my learning experience. So I've sanded the whole thing down with 400. And I mean, you're not going to be able to tell. But you can see it's basically kind of like I'm wet sanding it after I paint it. It's It's got that look. It feels so much better. Uh, I'm also going to end up, after thinking about it, clean out the underside of this hood and paint it the same color as the exterior of the truck just because I got the paint so why not. Uh, 
now. Other than that, as you can see, it's it's looking pretty good. Body lines are real straight. I'm happy with it, and man, it's gonna look good when it's painted. See you guys later. Okay, folks, it's time. It's been about three weeks since this thing's been down, but it's time to make my oh-so-handy and amazing paint booth. As you can see, it's not in the best condition right now, but I'll give it a little TLC and get it straightened out. You also notice it's a particularly windy day today, so that's why I'm not going to paint just yet. The wind's supposed to die down in a few hours. I'll also be painting in the mornings, so the mornings will be a little bit calmer. See how it goes. Looks a little Halloweenish right now. Before I forget, this is my air compressor that I got from Facebook Marketplace for 75 bucks. I keep the bottom valve open while I'm running it so you can see how much water has been going around and leaving this thing. So it's, you can hear it hissing now. So this is what I got. It was a Campbell Hossfeld and it says made in America somewhere. Here's the stats on it. I've looked around and it's about as good as it gets, especially for the price range. This will really help you out if you can find a used one at a good price for sure.